Hi darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Virgos. And this is gonna be just a little midweek check-in. I'm gonna pull you some cards from my Cosmic Tarot. And maybe one of my Energy Oracle. We'll see. So let's see what messages we have for Virgo for midweek. Now, earlier I told Taurus, I said, you know, we'll do love. It didn't come that way, so we're just going to do for the collective whatever is meant to come out. Maybe because they already had love around them. So, Virgo, this is for you. Virgo, let's see. Oh, for some fighting around you. What's going on? That was the five of wands. The king of cups. It could be over a water energy. Maybe a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. Now, whatever is going on, it has you feeling out in the cold. This is like the mindset of lack, not having, okay? This is temporary. This does not last long. It's here. Change the way you're looking at the situation. In the past, you thought you had intuition and you were following it. The Eight of Pentacles right now, you're trying to manifest some things, maybe some money, or you're working on something. You're thinking about it very, very hard. You are the magician, very magical, darlings. the death card change so this is gonna change okay so it's temporary there's an ending of something and the beginning of something new it's the end of a cycle not all change is bad we got the empress here this is about abundance it could be fertility as well but this is about abundance so and the world something you successfully accomplish mm. And the Queen of Cups, there is a water energy in your environment. I said this is a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. And whatever challenges you're facing with this energy, you're, you're above them. You're facing them head on and you're fine. They're pushing and you push them back. But you got a decision to make. That's the Two of Swords. You've been thinking about walking away. Why? Why? You got yourself all tied up and trapped. You can make the decision. You'll be able to make the decision. The two of pentacles, you're guarding your heart. You might feel a little off balance emotionally. <clears throat> it's because something ended for you. I think you're still thinking about the past pain that you felt block your magic. Don't block the beauty that's coming towards you. So the Ten of Swords to me is like painful ending. So a past that you haven't let, let a past that you haven't let go of totally, you know? 
and you need to do some healing. And this is the Princess of Swords. Now you will be able to study the details and I think you will overcome what is going on, okay? The Five of Cups, you feel emotional about what's going on. There's something going on in your environment that you feel emotional about. Anyway, the card that I got here, the garden and the gate. The garden and the gate. Abundant prosperity, staying safe. This card shows a peaceful young woman in a beautifully blossoming garden with, with colorful flowers all around. However, the gate to the road outside the garden is locked while the girl wears the key on a chain around her neck. This card upright bodes well for the financial scene. In fact, there may be a lot of money or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time. But be aware, the choices to stay in the seeming security of this lovely garden Maybe that's why you're trapped there. Maybe you're scared to venture out. Maybe you're having anxiety. But you got to push through that fear. Push through it, darling. Navigate your way through it, even if you're scared. In fact, there may be a lot of money or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time. But be aware, the choice to stay in the seeming security of this lovely garden may actually be motivated by habit or a fear of the unknown. The beauty is enticing and worth enjoying, but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. While it's fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from the karmic path or from living your truth. You have the choice to shift your focus widen your spiritual perspective and gain the world that is just outside your gate the affirmation for this card i am blessed with an abundantly spiritual life every day in every way my joyous prosperity grows and grows i love you guys and you got you take care okay sometimes when things end in life we don't really heal from them. We hold on to those feelings. And then we wonder why the next situation is just as painful or ended just as painful. I personally feel that if we give out that kind of feeling, frequency, vibration, that's what we will attract. Another thing is, if we don't heal from our past traumas, we're going to keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again until we learn what we're supposed to. Everything that happens in life happens for a reason. I love you guys. You take care and we will chat soon. Bye. <laughs>